Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday. Today's video will be pretty quick. I do not have any investments to share and I've only made one transfer over the last week and then I will make another one right now. So let's just jump into it. So we are gonna talk about my student loan savings. I do have $36,000 of student loan debt. However, I have not been actively paying those down throughout the forbearance because they we don't have to pay them and they've been at 0% interest. So instead of paying them down directly, I have been saving for them in my high yield savings account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, which today I received an email that I think it's at 1.9% now. Let me see, let me double check that. Yep, new rate is 1.9%. I do have referrals on top of my rate currently, so this will now be at 2.4%. I also have my link down below where if you sign up through that link uh, for Marcus by Goldman Sachs, then you will get an additional 1% for three months on top of that rate. So 2.9% for three months, which is pretty awesome. So that's good news. But anyways, my plan with the money that I've been saving up is once they become due, I, I would make a lump sum payment and that's still going to happen. However, recently the student loan debt cancellation was announced so i have enough money to you know after that gets canceled the money that i have saved is actually more than enough than what i would need to be completely debt free and i'll even have money left over but my plan right now is to just continue saving until that cancellation actually happens and i'm actually just going to keep on saving until we have to start making payments again so that will be until January 2023. So let's talk about the transfer. Last week I was at $20,800 saved for my student loans, pretty decent amount there. And then when was this? I received a Venmo notification on Sunday, September 11th, early in the morning that Sina sent me $100 through Venmo. So he said, happy September, love your work, here's to a debt-free life, and sent me 100. As I said, thank you so, so much, Sina. He has helped me a lot over the last few weeks, uh, so I really, really appreciate him. And of course, I made that transfer the same day. That didn't go through until September 12th though, not until yesterday. So that put me at $20,900. And you know, today filming this video, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a transfer to get me up to 21,000, but I think I'm just going to because whatever. The reason I wasn't going to is because my checking account is fairly low, which is fine. I always do that because I, prefer like a zero based budget and then I get paid on the 15th and the last day of the month. But I have other things to pay for still, you know, like I have to, um, my charges are pending on credit cards, so I have to pay those. But by the time I get paid, like I'm gonna have enough money to do this as well as uh, pay for everything that I need to. So we're just gonna do a hundred, let's, let's do it. I wanna hit a milestone that will make me feel pretty good. So a hundred dollar transfer, doing that right now i will put that confirm page up on the screen and let me confirm it and so that means over the last week i have saved 200 dollars for my student loans and huge shout out to sina again for half of that i now have twenty one thousand dollars saved for my student loans however since i will be getting the twenty thousand dollar cancellation from this new relief plan that went into place I would only have to use $16,000 of the amount that I have saved up. So the cash that I would have left over is $5,000 now. And I'm not gonna touch any of this money until this all actually happens. But somebody gave me this idea in the comments a couple of weeks ago to start sharing how much cash I would have left over if I did use the money that I needed to. So that would be 5,000 now. And if we were to look at my numbers currently, so if I were to subtract the $21,000 that I have saved from my total student loan debt of $36,000, I would be left with $15,000 of total debt today. So new milestone. Uh, this is happening a lot quicker than I expected things to. I am so happy with the savings amount. I'm so happy to see the interest rate going up because it adds more money. And then each time it adds more money, it just keeps on growing from the interest rate. So obviously not as much if it were to be invested in the long term, but it's still very helpful to have uh, some amount of money growing in there passively. So yeah, that is it for my transfer Tuesday. I will be honest and say that I am feeling so eager about this student loan debt cancellation and it's a little bit 
I've been starting to like plan things out for what I'm gonna do after that's gone or like once I'm debt free and it's just, it's kind of consuming my, my mental energy, not in a negative way per se, but it's just like a waste of my time and I'm trying to realize that because things are going to, you know, things are gonna be different by the time that happens and like uh, every month is gonna be different, but I, I am just the type of person who goes to their spreadsheets and starts entering numbers so I can see what to expect after I'm debt free and like how I can allocate my money. So I did start doing that recently and I just need to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, comment down below if you are the same way, if, if you've started thinking about that because it is really exciting and I'm kind of like just eager to plan out what I can do for my other financial goals, like how much I can invest now, how much I can, like how soon I can max out my 2023 Roth IRA, how soon I can start saving for a house or like how much I can save for a house each month and then all my other sinking funds and it's just, it's getting out of hand. So I have to reel myself back in and just wait, be in the present moment and not worry about that because honestly, it is just like, I should spend my time elsewhere, you know? But I know a lot of you are like that. You can understand where I'm coming from. It is exciting, but also just like annoying to, to think about and uh, makes me impatient. But that's it for my Transfer Tuesday. Comment down below what you did to move your money in the right direction today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really supports my channel and I'll see you in my next video.